the baby dinosaur we found in 2010 is by far the most complete ceratopsian that's ever been found anywhere in the world and the smallest. In the end, uh, we can hope to come up with um, an understanding of how they grew, um, how fast they grew perhaps. Uh, from that we can get information on their physiology. Uh, the association of juveniles with adults can tell us something about their behavior. We can take the information on a species now, like this one, Chasmosaurus, and we can say we would expect the same kind of variation to happen in other groups of dinosaurs or other closely related forms, things like uh, Centrosaurus or so on. This was a specimen that had come out of the hillside in blocks, rolled down by a creek, and uh, we didn't really know where the source was, where the, the, the specimens came from. But when the blocks were collected by Phil Bell, when he was working for the, uh, the museum up there at the time, uh, and he took them back and started doing preparation on them, he realized that the little bits of skin impression we could see were in fact um, quite, quite a bit more interesting than, than first appeared. One, two, three. We're looking at uh, an exceptional dinosaur mummy. A mummified dinosaur is one that still preserves the skin on it. We don't really understand how uh, skin fossilizes. Uh, of course, it's, it's soft tissue. It's something that readily decays after an animal dies. So that's something that perhaps this data will, will help us answer. We very strongly believe that public education is just an extension of what we do here at the university. There is more than 15,000 catalog specimens a tremendous uh, collection behind that ha that hasn't been catalogued or studied uh, or prepared yet. We very much like to uh, show our treasures. We, in a way, I guess we're showing off as well because we are very excited about uh, these finds and uh, we feel there's a reason other people should as well.